just nice and relaxed. Just answer whatever they ask. Yeah, yeah, watch it out. All right. Um, oh, how, how important and satisfying was tonight's victory? Man? Yeah, well, per, I mean, it's a great game. I thought uh, up until three quarter time, it was an awesome contest. Um, clearly, we, we ran away with a bit in the last, but um, I thought Fremantle were really good, and you know, and, and that was that made for a great game. Um, but the, the outcome was significant because uh, clearly. Um, it's a fairly short season, and um, and it's a fairly congested ladder on, a, particularly on our side. Yeah, so it was um, quite a big win in the end by seven goals or something. But I think they were, they were undefeated before um, tonight. So were you a bit surprised at that? Uh, the margin. I don't think the margin reflected the game really. I think it was uh, um, it was a really tight battle. Um, yeah, certainly up until three quarter time, it certainly didn't feel comfortable, uh, and we kicked those first couple, which sort of gave us the breathing space. But uh, ultimately, yeah, the margin I don't think was that reflective of the contest. Um, were, you, were you a bit concerned uh, when I think you've been sort of dominated and been a bit inaccurate, and uh, yeah. sort of got the skates on at the front at one stage? Was yeah, absolutely. No, as I said, they were good um, and they took their opportunities. They've, they've structured up such that they've got a lot of talent ahead of the ball um, and therefore, if you give them a chance, they'll, they'll take it and they did. So that was you know, to their credit, basically. Um, but I thought the response from our team, um, led by Danielle, clearly, <laughs> was uh, really good. What did you think of Danielle's game? She hit two spectacular goals in front yeah. of the fans. What, what did you make of that? No, I'm really pleased. Uh, obviously, uh, Danielle's played back for the last uh, few weeks. And so when we told her this week that she was going forward, she was fairly happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't wipe the smile off her face. Uh, but clearly she's you know, a great talent, um, you know, obviously a, a Darwin, an NT product and uh, just really represent her, her state or territory really, really well, uh, not only tonight but throughout the whole season she's been... She's done everything right, and the, you know she's getting the reward for working really hard. She worked really hard in the off season. She clearly has a phenomenal knack around goal. Why was it you sent her, her back, or is it to, um, to improve her game? Yeah, I, it was, that was yeah, that was my call, my, along with the other assistant coaches. Um, you know, we just looked at the balance of our team and that that the weapon that she has, which is this an, you know amazing kick, uh, can be really useful to us out coming out of the back half. And she's also. You know, pretty good in the contest, so um, we felt those attributes would be uh, beneficial for us, and a, a little bit of an education piece as well. She'd never played back, so um, we just wanted to, uh, to to expose her to that and to to show her that she can do it, and she can do it really well. Um, and but clearly, she's got some forward ability, so it might be a bit of, might be a bit of both from here on in. <laughs> Yeah, it obviously means a lot. Um, it's been a long journey and um, it was just good because it's one thing to, to get an AFLW game and then it's another thing to uh, play at home in front of your friends and family and have that support around you when you do, you know, get those lucky moments where you do kick goals and to have them, um, to hear them yelling out and shouting, is, um, it's very good. I think she ran to the bench so she could go and celebrate with them afterwards, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it shocked me a bit too. Yeah. <laughs> Over celebration, it's a bit of an issue in our team, but uh, we don't want to curb it too much. Can you talk us through uh, mm. your two goals? What you remember of them? They were pretty special. What was yours? Did you have a favourite one? Can you remember them at all? Uh, probably the second one when I dribbled it in, but really didn't think about anything when I, um, I was kicking the ball. Just got it on the boot and hope for the best, really. <laughs> and that's yeah. And uh, and Stevie Lee Thompson's game. She was really really balanced and such good contest work. What did you make of it? Yeah. So obviously the conditions uh, were, were greasy. Um, you know, it didn't didn't really rain, but there was just that that, that greasiness about the about the ground and one of her great assets is her capacity just to keep her feet and to stay stay up in the contest so uh, a number of times you know, a ball on the ground a one-on-one -on -one contest and she was able to work her opponent off of it and then come back onto the ball probably didn't quite get the reward for some of her contest work that she has in previous weeks but no, I thought it was a really really strong performance from her and uh, yeah, continues on a pretty good season so far. Do you have a special bond with, um, with Stevie Lee up forward? Uh, 
Um, no, not a special one in they, particular. Have you, have, you, have you played with them growing up? And like, do you like playing the same forward line? Yes, I've. Because you both dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been around her um, quite a lot, her being um, one of the NT girls that were up here before, but decided to make the move down to Adelaide. But um, yeah, grew up training with her, playing with her, watching her. So, what she does is what I try to do. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Courtney Cramey, uh, mild hamstring, um, so we wait and see. Uh, she, I'm not sure which quarter she did it in, but essentially we just uh, put her on ice straight away. We didn't take any risk with it. Um, yeah, I, I can't tell you how long it'll be, but hopefully hopefully not too long. She's reasonably positive, but um, any time it's a hammy, you're probably looking at at least one week and you know maybe two, so we'll see. And uh, just one more on Erin Phillips. She sort of was sort of another reminder about the giant. Yeah, I mean, her season thus far has been outstanding. She's, uh, um, I've said a few times, she's obviously in the veteran stage, but uh, she's just a, such a competitor, such a, a brilliant competitor that she just drives herself to, to stay out there and to keep competing at the best, highest level. So we're fortunate to have her. Thanks, guys.